Hi guys, okay, today, I'm excited about today because we are doing something new for this channel. I'm going to be doing a full face of dupes. So we will have all the affordable products and all the high-end products on each half of my face. I have an entire fur, I have almost a full face. The only thing I do not have is an eyebrow product. But other than that, we have absolutely everything. I have blush, bronzer, highlight, foundation, concealer, lipstick. I even have setting spray. Like, that's, that's a lot. But I'm excited because this is something new and I've never done anything like this. So, let's just get into it. First, I'm going to take my glasses off and I am going to moisturize my face real quick. Just with my everyday moisturizer. Next thing we're going to go in with primer. I have two that are very, very hyped up right now. I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and the e.l.f. What is this? The Poreless Putty Primer? I have a mini of the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Um, we're gonna do drugstore on this side and high-end on this side. So I'm gonna go with the e.l.f. one first and just take my nail and scrape some out. Oh, this is what the e.l.f. one looks like. And this is what the Tatcha one looks like. I've used the Tatcha one, obviously. This is my first time using the e.l.f. one, but that's them side by side. I'm just gonna scrape some of the e.l.f. one out. Get about that much and i'm just gonna apply this and i probably used way too much yeah i forget i'm only doing half my face press that into the skin it's really dark and gloomy out it's like four o'clock and it's pitch black it's just been so dark and rainy out and i just wanted to do nothing but curl up on the couch and watch supernatural yeah but next I'm going to take the Tatcha one and do the exact same thing to the other side. Taking just a little bit. The Tatcha one does have a smell and the e.l.f. one doesn't. But I like them both so far. Like I know what I think of the Tatcha one and the e.l.f. one so far is looking really, really nice. Okay, both primers are applied. I do seem to like both of them. Um, the e.l.f. one, like they both feel pretty tacky and they both pressed into the skin really nicely. Next, we're just going to go straight in with foundation. I have for the drugstore side, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And then for the high-end side, I have the Tarte Double Duty Beauty uh, Tarte Shape Tape Foundation in Fair Beige. These shades are not the exact same shade, you're going to be able to tell. But we're gonna make them work. Like these both have such a similar smell. And the doe foots, like let me put the doe foots side by side. Exact same doe foots. This, the Makeup Revolution one's just a little bigger, but they both have the exact same coverage and they wear pretty similar. I have the hydrating version of the Tarte Shape Tape as well. Oh, Okay, well, I'm just going to say now, if you hear music in the background, it's because my husband's being a butt and playing Panic at the Disco on our Google Home. Okay, so those are the two foundations blended out. They look the exact same. Like, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Okay, I just had to go through and figure out what Tarte Shape Tape matches the shade best because I have three different shades in the Tarte Shape, Tarte Shape Tape. But I have the e.l.f. Camel Concealer literally has the same doe foot as the Tarte Shape Tape as well. Maybe, I don't know, they're pretty much the exact same. So this is e.l.f. and this is the Tarte Shape Tape. Obviously the Tarte's a little small, or the e.l.f.'s a little smaller and they're not the exact same shade, but... The e.l.f. doesn't have a smell and the Tarte does, but we're just going to apply them. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. one first, and this is going to be very light, just warning you now. Okay, those are both the concealers blended out. Besides the shade difference, like they covered the exact same. Like this one's a little lighter, obviously, but 
other than that, they're literally like the same finish and the same coverage. I'm, that is insane. Next, I have a loose powder to set my under eyes that are dupes. I have the, for the high end, I have the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And for the drugstore, it is a new setting powder. It is the Milani translucent setting powder. This is their make it last powder. Okay, and that's both the powders on my face. As you can see on my cheek right here and on my nose on this side, like those are the exact same powders. I also have a powder to set the rest of my face as well. I have the MAC Studio Fix powder. And it looks like this. And for the drugstore side, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder Foundation. It looks like this. These are the exact same powders. So I'm gonna use two different brushes and set my face. We're gonna go in with the drugstore version first. <laughs> Next, we're going to go in with bronzer, and I have for the high-end side, the Too Faced, what is this? The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in medium. Packaging looks like this. Powder looks like this. And then for the drugstore side, I have the NYX Matte Bronzer in medium. Packaging and the bronzer. I'll hold them up side by side. The NYX one in the pan looks a little lighter, but I'm going to swatch them for you and you're going to see these are the exact same powders. Like, look at that. NYX, uh, Too Faced. NYX, Too Faced. <laughs> So far, that's the skin. Like, they look, there's no difference. I can't see a difference. I'm looking a little dark because I don't have anything else on the face, but next we're gonna go in with highlighter. This one I'm really excited about. Okay, so the one I have for the drugstore side is Morphe. It's not necessarily drugstore, but you can get it at Ulta on the drugstore section. I'm actually gonna go in next and spray my face just because I did put a lot of powder on so far and we're looking, like, my breakouts are looking a little rough, so. The setting sprays I have that are dupes. For the drugstore side, I have the Pixie Glow Mist. This is like $15. And you'll see why I'm excited about it because the high-end version is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is like 48, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna go and attempt to spray half my face. I don't I don't know how that works. How do you, how do you spray half your face? Like do, do I hold a barrier? Do I what do I do? Next, we're going in with highlighter. I have a couple Morphe products from here on out, but highlighter is the one item I have for a Morphe product. I have the Morphe highlighter in extra, and I know Morphe is not technically a drugstore, but it is affordable. And this is what it looks like super pretty. The high end version of this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Like look at those side by side. And I will do swatches. We will do the Morphe one first and then Becca. Morphe, Becca. Morphe, Becca. No difference. I actually have two of the exact same brush, so I'm gonna go in on each side. I'm gonna go on the drugstore side first and take the Morphe highlighter. Like, look at those. That's the Morphe Champagne Pop. Morphe Champagne Pop. They look the ex they look the same. Next, I have blush. Blush was kind of a hard one for me. I have the Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush in 18 Hush Blush. I love Pretty Vulgar's packaging. Looks like this. And then for the drugstore side, I have another Morphe product. It is actually a blush trio. It is the 
Blush Trio and Blushing Beige Pop of Rose, and it is the shade Legendary, which is this shade right here. So I'm gonna hold them up side by side, and look at that. That is so similar. So we're gonna swatch to Pretty Vulgar and Legendary. Pretty Vulgar and Legend, or Pretty Vulgar and Morphe Legendary. We're gonna apply them to the face. I'm gonna go in with, we're gonna apply them to the face. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe one first. I hate not being able to use my favorite blush brush because I want I could only use it once. I this is why I have a favorite blush brush. And I don't even like other than using my R14 blush, uh, my R14 brush for blush. What else am I supposed to use? I don't even know. <laughs> Like, I had to blend this one out. This one, I didn't. It just, oh, this brush just makes everything apply so seamlessly. I love this brush. Okay, next we're going to move on to eyes. Eyes was a little tricky for me personally because I tried to only pick things I had in my collection. I grabbed out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Looks like this. The brush this fell. Looks like this. I'm sure you've all seen that. And... The palette I chose was for the dupe was the Morphe 25C Hey Girl Hey palette. Looks like this. And I'm gonna try to hold them side by side to see what I mean. A lot of similar colors. So I'm going to go in, I guess, on the Anastasia, like the high-end side, and take the shade Burnt Orange, which is this shade right here. This is the shade R R Regal, Rieger. This is the shade Regal, Rieger, and the ABH palette. And then the Morphe shade is this shade right here. Like those are the same shades. And then we have the shade Red or Orca, Okra, and a shade from the Morphe palette. We'll look at those. Like, those shades are the exact same. There's no difference. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with the shade from the ABH palette, taking Raw Sienna, which is the shade down here, and popping that in the crease. We're just gonna do something very simple. Okay, Raw Sienna. Raw Sienna is blended into the crease. And then I'm going to go in with the shade in the Morphe palette and blend that in the crease. And go look at those two shades. And that's literally all I'm gonna put on the top eye just because I want something very simple. I'm going to take the shade Love Letter and pop that on the lower lash line. Okay, I ran Love Letter on the lower lash line and up on the top lash line as well. Oh, I love that. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other eye, but take this shade and the Morphe palette. Like, that's how simple and easy that eye look was. Look at this. Two shades. And that's all I used. Insane. I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows off camera. I'm just going to use my Benefit Cabral and my Gimme Brow. Okay, eyebrows are done. And next, we're going to go in with mascara. For the high end side, I have the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Looks like this. And then for the drugstore, I have the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Okay, this is Lash Princess and this is Essence. Exact same wand. And they. I've tried both of these mascaras multiple times and they both do the exact same thing. But I'm going to apply both of these real quick. That is the It Cosmetics mascara, as you can see the difference. It's a little hard to see right now, but I really like this mascara. And then I'm going to go and apply the Essence. Okay, so that's both mascaras applied. In my personal opinion, they both are semi-watery, or liquidy, I should say, and they both give quite a bit of length and just a little bit of volume, not anything crazy, but I like both of those mascaras. Next, which I'm actually the most excited about because if anybody that knows me knows my favorite 
liquid lipstick ever is the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in Rebel Rose. I wore this on my wedding day. I recommend this to absolutely everybody. I put this on any client I have. I This is my absolute go-to liquid lipstick ever. This is actually where I got the video, or the idea to film this video because I was swatching some lipsticks to go through them and I swatched this one. And then I swatched another one and I was like, wait a minute, those are the exact same shades. That's insane. I mean, it's not really insane because I have a lot of makeup. So obviously there's gonna be some items that I have more than one of or that are like the same shades. But, so the drugstore side, we have the one mild liquid cat suits. Love this, this is my number one formula for any liquid lipstick. Beside like drugstore liquid lipstick. And the high end version I have is the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in stone. So I'll do some swatches real quick. Those are the two shades. The top one is Wet n Wild, the bottom one is Dose of Colors. Exact same shade. So I'm gonna apply Wet n Wild to this side and Dose of Colors to this side. Feels so weird doing half my lips. So Wet n Wild dries down a little bit quicker, so you can see that one's kinda dried down and this one's taking a little bit longer. But if someone were to put these in front of me, I wouldn't know which one was which. Clear my face again with both my setting sprays. And that is the finished look. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know. If you like these kinds of videos and want to see more of them on my channel, let me know because I'm 100% sure I have more dupes. That's all for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, if you did, please let me know down below. And this is the finished look. It looks like I use the exact same makeup on both sides. Like I can't tell a single difference. But that is all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.